One of the greatest uh, changes in my practice is since I introduced something called Smart Lipo or Laser Lipo. What it is, it's if I would have met you seven years ago and you wanted to have liposuction, I would have taken you to the operating room, put you to sleep, done a different kind of liposuction, and gotten a nice result and it would have worked fine. Um, in the last seven or so years, I've switched 90% of my liposuction over just to the office. Smart Lipo essentially is the ability for me to make a very, very tiny incision, two to three millimeters, so it's only about this big. And what I can do is numb up that spot. You're wearing like suntan goggles that are playing music, so it's a very relaxed environment. You've had something to eat, you're comfortable. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm there talking to you. Through this very little tiny incision, I'll insert a catheter underneath the skin, and I have an IV bag that has lots and lots of local anesthetic, and I'll infiltrate it underneath the skin, and that will make the area completely numb. You won't feel anything. You'll know I'm there, but you'll have no discomfort. I did, that takes several minutes. After that, I'll take out the uh, infiltration cannula and I'll put a very very tiny fiber optic laser fiber it's only about this big about the size of a big pen the insert of a, a big pen and what I do is I move it where the fat is and I step on the pedal and every time I step on the pedal two different wavelengths of laser beams will come through that and it melts the fat coagulates the little blood vessels and it heats the skin up so that you'll get some skin degree of skin tightening. That will take several minutes. Then I take that out and I put a very small liposuction cannula in and I'll suck out the fat that I've done. And that again will be painless because you'll still be completely numb. Afterwards, I put a tiny dissolving suture, a little stair strip, and then we're basically done. You put on a compression garment like a Spanx or Spandex, you go home right away, you should feel quite comfortable. You will leak a little bit of fluid, so it's important you go home and just relax. Um, the leakage that um, will happen that night will stop by the next morning. Virtually 99.9% .9 of patients will go back to work the next day. They'll shower, they'll be functional, be themselves. I like them to refrain from exercising for five days, but then go for a walk and so on. After five days, with very rare exceptions, I give them complete unrestricted activities. They can do whatever they want. What is important to know is it's not magic. It takes time. And what's so neat and interesting about the Smart Lipo is it's really a six-month process of getting better and better and better. And you'll improve. It's also not instantaneous. It's not like a breast augmentation or a tummy tuck where you wake up and say, wow, I look so different. You'll look exactly the same. You won't look worse. You won't look better. You have to be patient. Um, not everybody's a perfect candidate at all. The ideal smart lipo patient is within about 15%, sometimes 20% of their body weight. The exception being sometimes if they're a little more heavy set and I'm just doing the submental of the neck area. Um, I can do those if they're a little heavier set, but you generally want to be within 15 to 20 percent of your ideal body weight. We can do fat, or I can do fat areas, really anywhere from the neck down. The commonest areas would be the neck or submental area. Uh, a lot of times I can put off somebody needing a facelift for many years. Um, some women, especially if they're busty, will have this fullness by their lateral breast area. Uh, of course, the abdomen, the upper and lower abdomen, the love handles, the hips, the inner thighs. A lot of women complain about the um, inside of their knees being fatty. On very select patients, I'll sometimes do calves and ankles. That's less common. And then on the back, the love handles and also the bra line. A lot of women have um, uh, more fat than they want there. So I obviously have to see each person and evaluate them, but it's been a huge transformation in my practice. I do it almost every day. Um, almost every day of the week. Obviously some weeks are busier than others, but I've done, last time I counted, around 530 such cases, and I'm doing several a week. And I really enjoy it. The risks are extremely small. I've never had an infection, and, and really never had a complication. The key is, of course, making sure people's expectations are what I can achieve. It's not magic. You're still gonna need to diet. You're still gonna need to exercise if you wanna look your best, but I can get you closer to your goal. Many patients use it as a um, catalyst to really transform themselves. They've been exercising for a while and they just don't see a change, or they've exercised in the past and they just can't bring them, themselves to start again. They'll come, they'll have the smart life, they'll say, wow, now that I've done something, I've kind of gotten a jump start, and then they'll do a lot themselves, and they'll actually do more than I will do for them, but because they've been working out and I've jump started them, they'll have huge changes in their appearance. So, it's really a fantastic tool, um, very little risk, and very, very well tolerated. So that's probably the procedure I'm most excited about now.